When it comes to self-lacing shoes, there are really just two brands that come to mind. There's Nike and Puma. Now, following the Nike Adapt BB from earlier this month, it's now Puma's turn to launch its self-lacing sneakers, the FI. Now, before we begin, it's worth reminding everyone that the FI isn't Puma's first self-lacing shoe. In fact, this is the natural evolution from the Autodesk, which we got to play with about three years ago. So you will see many similarities, including the fact that it's got a micromotor at the top, whereas Nike puts its motor in the sole. It's also interesting that Puma's taken a more low profile approach with the design, featuring a black body with blue strings. And speaking of, it's also funny that they've decided to expose the strings more this time round. So the belief is that users should focus more on the technology as well as the experience. The most notable upgrade on the FI is the way you interact with the shoe itself. Rather than relying on physical buttons, the FI has a touch strip above the motor. So to tighten, just swipe from bottom to top. And you can do so two more times to reach maximum tightness. If you really want to, you can press and hold the top part here so that the shoe will increase the tightness in incremental steps and vice versa if you press and hold at the bottom part here. And to release, just swipe from top to bottom. And of course, you are also able to control the FI using its iPhone app here. The gestures are basically the same and you can control both at the same time or tap onto one of them and swipe away. Just like that. And similarly, if you want to make micro adjustments, just tap and hold just like that and it will tighten itself here. Likewise, tap at the top to loosen it by incremental steps. And obviously, this is also where you can see the battery status on each shoe. Now, while the FI doesn't have Android support just yet, it already works with the Apple Watch here and the gestures are basically the same and I can still choose individual shoes and I can toggle it just like that. So this is very convenient when you wanna leave your iPhone behind, say at home or in the locker. Now I've actually been wearing these FIs for about two days now and they are definitely a lot more comfortable than the Autodiscs. In fact, I would say they're not that much different from ordinary sneakers. Sure, they are slightly heavier than my, say, Adidas Ultra Boost, but then again, we are talking about 428 grams, so the gain in weight is not that much noticeable, especially when they're on my feet. It's also very interesting that I seem to enjoy the loosening process more than the tightening process, because what I've been doing over the last two days is, whenever I go back to the office or go to a restaurant, I can simply whip out my iPhone or Apple Watch and just loosen my feet without having to bend down and making it too obvious. And likewise for when I have to tighten up afterwards. Now, in terms of battery life, we've been told to expect around five to seven days, which kind of matches what I've been seeing over the last two days. And once depleted, just put these shoes onto the included Qi wireless charging mat, or you can even take the batteries out and put them into a dedicated charging case and plug it into a USB cable, which is very convenient for travelers. Now, Given the very, very limited choices in the market right now, it's natural for people to be making comparisons between the Puma FIs and the Nike Adapt BB, especially since they're priced very, very similarly as well, with the FI costing about $330, whereas the Nikes cost about $350. Now, even though I haven't tried Nikes just yet, I think I already prefer the touch gesture input on the FIs over the side physical buttons on the Nikes. And it's also worth noting that the FIs are designed for general everyday use, whereas the Adapt BBs are for basketball usage. Still, I do like the fact that the Nikes are able to start tightening up as soon as you put your feet in them, whereas the FIs require at least one swipe. Now, you may be wondering when you can get hold of a pair of FIs yourself. Well, sorry, these won't actually be entering the market until spring 2020. That said, Puma is, for the very first time, starting an open beta program, which will basically giving free shoes to willing participants in exchange for useful feedback and ideas. So if you're interested, check out our article and stay tuned on Engadget.com for more news on the Puma FIs. Thank you.